Okay, this is going to be a review for you guys on the UPR catch cam that you can find on um, Stage 3 Motorsports or CJ Pony for the F-150 3.5 EcoBoost. Um, definitely had some issues with it, and I'll explain all that in a second. Um, first thing you're going to want to know, you can find the catch can. It's going to be the biggest one that they have. It's really, really massive. It's about $400 something dollars, and you can add a whole bunch of stuff on it if you want, and blah, 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 blah. Um, I have a 2015 F-150 EcoBoost, and if you watch the videos, you can see that the catch can install shows that it's going to be behind the grill. Um, that doesn't work. The video is for a 2013 vehicle, so before anybody sits there and takes off the grill, it's not going to work with the 2015 model. Just don't do it. And the reason is, is because you have this active arrow, um, you have this active arrow installed. And what the active arrow is, is that it closes and opens these vents in the grill, which as you can see, leaves, I'm sorry, I don't have a light or anything, but it leaves no room down there for you to install a ginormous catch can. So this right here and all this information that you get, it says here that you're going to install a catch can in front of the grill by taking the grill off. That's not going to work for you. So don't take your grill off and waste your time because it's a pain in the ass. Um, and I took it off just to find out that this is not going to work. So all this stuff right here, throw it out the window. It's, it's useless. Um, but if you do want to take off your grill, this is how you do it. You got four, four bolts that go across. Go ahead and undo your active arrow and your little hood sensor. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to undo all this. And you're going to pull this back. And this is just a bunch of clips. But be careful because the clips go flying and it's really fragile and you're going to break it there's a bolt literally behind once you remove this there's one right behind there and the same thing for the other side and that will take off the front of the grill really easy and then you just got these mud flaps so you got to detach um but before you do that you're just gonna have to pop off all these little clips that look like this to get the um, center piece off which is just that cover right there okay so now that we discussed that it's not gonna work behind the grill of a 2015 model, where are we going to put it? Well, I'm going to tell you. First things first, this is what it looks like for the setup. You're going to pull this check valve off right here, and then you're going to pull... Let's see if I can get a better view. Uh, okay, so there's a line that goes from here, this, this, um, this port on the engine, all the way down to the turbo port, which is just connects to this pipe right here. Uh, yeah, you're gonna look at this one right here. I'll get my hand out of the way. Really just plugs in right there, really easy. And then they got a Y pipe right there and it just connects right there. And then I ran mine underneath the intake, around in front of the radiator um, fluid, and then just came over here. And this is what I mean. This is where I put my catch can and I plan on drilling a hole into the battery box right here that holds the battery. And I'll just put a bolt right there. It sits there, there's room. It works and then you can still have room to sit there and reach under and drain it so that's the best possible spot for me that I put it another thing is this one right here um, use the stock port so that's gonna run up the hoses are really long because it's meant to be in front of the grill but it doesn't work and then that's gonna go into the right one right here okay driver side over there goes into the left one right there and this one intake just goes right to the intake port okay so it's easy let me get down real quick okay there's your setup um it's pretty tight actually i'm just going to drill a little hole into the side here of this uh of the battery box and um just clip it right there so just put a bolt right there, I'll hold it in place, and this is actually probably the best position for it due to the fact that the size of this can is just ginormous. Um, it's not in the way of anything, it's not affecting the battery terminal, and it's not affecting these sensors back here because they just pop off and you can reclip them. So this is the best spot for it, but it's a really big can, and even with it just sitting here, it's pretty secure right now, so I can go get my drill, um, and then I'll just use the, uh, the factory, little bolts here that they gave me and um here's a little razor if you guys wanted to raise up the can or something and i just don't use it so 
you guys have a two thousand anything older than a 2013 model this catch can will not go in the front of the grill so don't waste your time pulling it off and like i said if you don't have this active arrow where the grill opens and closes itself with vents and fins you might be able to i don't know but for me i have the active arrow so it's not going to work i just took the grill off tried to put the can on didn't work and uh yeah so i had to put it back on so just just be cautious of these these panels right here these clips they pop off they go flying good luck finding them they're a pain in the ass just be careful um if you guys do take these off and put this back on a little trick i did was this will come out and sit over the headlight take this bend it push it back in there first and then the rest of these little clips will line up and that makes it a lot easier so you don't break bend or twist anything and that's the way to do it so hopefully this helps anybody that uh wants the catch can for their eco boost and i think it's a great investment but you just can't put it where they say you can and there's no descriptions or dialogues or diagrams that sit there and say that so yeah so i hope that helps people and you can go from there but other than that it's a really cool system it's made of really good quality stuff continental is a pretty good brand uh made in us hoses are a little long but you know they're not in the way of anything so i'm not really going to complain um and they twist everything spins so i mean like you can adjust this and zip tie it and get it out of the way but i don't really plan on doing anything else to this vehicle um so that being said i think it's fine the way it is i just go drill that hole and uh, go from there. So, like I said, this is the alternative spot I would put it and just attach it right there to that battery box. And you could drill a hole right here and have plenty of room right in that plastic. So hopefully that helps people.